Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 live cat plat blah blah Not All enough right. minerals. It's my best intro to date. <laughs> we got a Zerg Not here on Yonsu. Or Yonsu. Something like that. Not uh, so with the Zerg, uh, a decent TBZ map Not for my build. Minerals. I mean, this ramp at least is at least it's facing inwards towards the PF, although it does stick out front a lot. So it's a little bit vulnerable to like rush, uh, road rush attacks and whatnot. But that's okay. Um, I probably outright die to like a Roachling Bane all in. Huh? SCV ready. If it, if What's he executed it perfectly. Bad news. Not enough minerals. So Barracks does jet out quite a bit, so if he gets that Barracks that jets out and he like picks off this stuff from the low ground with an Overlord and Roaches, then he can just drill a hole into my main, bypass the PF. Additional I think that would not be done that often though. Even if I face a Roaching Bane, I doubt he would actually commit to it in that not fashion. Enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. 13, 14, 15, one more SCB. Minerals. There we go. Now we're just waiting to see a drone here. Yes, sir. And we're going to chase him, but he's chasing me, so that's fine. You're on the ball. Yep. SCB ready. Ah, you scared me. SCB ready. Go ahead. What's going on? Okay, Your I've bang. seen this before. Yeah, whatever. SCB ready. Bad news. Big job, huh? I'm going. So I think the key is to get Not enough fast. Minerals. Not enough minerals. It's factory and then another command center. What's going on? Huh? Go ahead, SCV ready. In the rear Base with the gear. is under attack. I complete it. Oh, he didn't complete it. Yeah. Sure, look complete to me. Base is under attack. You better complete. Base is under attack. Insufficient base is under attack. What's going on? Big job, huh? Ah! Just in the rear with the gear. Huh? Go ahead. Who wants some? What's going on? That's really close. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Damn it! I died the same way last time I faced this. What happened to my second SCV? It must have gone intercepted or something. Um. So when done correctly, I don't mind this build. It, it looks really weird, but it's modeled after um, a very legitimate uh, strategy that Root Cats uses. Um, I'm actually surprised I haven't seen any other pros try it, because he basically claims, and I think he's not he seem like one to lie, that he always ends up at least even or ahead when he does this. Now the Root Cats build is a little bit different, where that's when the he does it when the uh, Terran goes 
command center first on the high ground. What you'll do is you'll 15 hatch here, then build another hatch here before gas, or maybe even before pool, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah probably before pool, 15 hatch. Yeah, then another hatchery here. Maybe not before pool, I don't know. But the, the gist of it is the same. You get the you get the hatchery here, you get a couple spines and some lings out in this area just to kind of hold there as long as you can, and then get a queen immediately and just start spreading creep tumors. And then not only do you have to kill a hatchery, but then you have to kill the creep tumors, and there's no real like hard counter there's no way to like punish the Zerg for it. And it takes so long to get this to get this uh you know, this space cleared of creep. Um now with that said, my response typically works out quite well. Um, just missing gas. You know what? I think I screwed up my build. So I just want to double check. On 16, I want to build my command, well, both my command center and my barracks. And then I build my 17th SCV, and then I go double gas. So that's 17th SCV, and double gas. Oh, okay. It was okay. Did I populate the gas in time? Oh, four and two. So I only had five on gas instead of six. So that delayed my PF, which actually probably cost me the entire game. Funny how little things can do that. Um, so he still hasn't cleared that, so... I survived this and I'm in pretty good shape. So I, basically what I do is I turn this into a PF. And then you build a factory. And then you build another command center. And um, you know, th this PF kills the hatchery. Um how do it work again? Basically what happens is you have this cleared by the time the second hatchery is, by the time your second command center is done. There's some reason to get the factory fast. I can't remember if I need a quick siege tank, maybe a quick raven to see the creep tumors, maybe a quick banshee to deal with spines or something. I don't know. There's some reason to get the factory. But you go factory, and then the next command center, and then the next command center gets over here. And the way it works out is you basically end up about dead even. Like, you'd be at the same point in the game where you'd normally be. Like, you're both kind of delayed by two minutes or whatever. Um, the only difference being you have two PFs now at your natural instead of one. So it kind of feels like you just play, like, a standard, you know, well, for me, standard cat drop game, except you get a free planetary fortress. Um, of course, if you lose this fortress, I thought it would have kept it alive. Because he's repairing it. And then all the links stopped attacking to go kill him. And then I got, and I think the same with the queen. And then I think the spine got the final shot. What is spine damage? Whew, 30. So close. I mean, five SCVs repairing would have been able, would have been able to catch, keep up with that. Ten hit points. Twenty. It does thirty. This isn't complete, so it only has one armor, so it does twenty-nine. I have to get to twenty-nine hit points. Oh that's so close. <laughs> my last question is what happened to my extra SCV? I had two SCVs out there. This one? And this one, and I pulled them both back here. I remember doing it. You kidding me? This is your movement. You spaz for a little bit in the corner. Okay, I just want to double check that I actually did pull them back. You know, SCVs have feelings too. I don't want to blame SCV for something you didn't do. Base is under attack. Selecting one, selecting two. Is this one still selected? No. 
Oh. I went here, like, I, I selected this one, and then I shift click that one, and then I right click here. Or here, I think I did. But I guess I didn't shift click because I lost control of this guy. Base he did not come home. Attack. One less SCV here. I needed nine more hit points of repair. <sighs> Let's see where we would have been in this game, too. Um, so I hold there. He loses his links, he loses his queen and spines. Say I lose five workers during that time, I may have to pull some more workers off the line. That would put him ahead by um, uh, put him ahead by six workers on me, but with one hatchery. He's just taking his natural now. Complete. So yeah, I think that would have been pretty even. If at all possible, like say he doesn't have lings at the base here, um, keep an eye on when that queen pops. And if you have some SCVs or your one marine nearby, as soon as it placed that creep tumor, kill the tumor. If you can kill the first tumor, it really prevents him from flooding this area with creep tumors, which can be a little bit annoying to cut through. I think it was a fast raven I had to get. Raven to clear the creep tumor. I don't know. I can't remember. I'll have to look up on those old VODs. Anyways, with that, we'll call it the end of this game. Thank you guys for tuning in. Check the description for a thumbs up link, and goodbye!